Good evening, everyone. I'm Rod Wood. And I'm Christy Casciano. A pension predicament for the city of Syracuse involving first responders, a decades-old error, and three-quarters of a million dollars. Now, while the city and the union representatives still dispute the cause of that error, as News Channel Line's Rob Hackford explains tonight, the Common Council says doing what's right is most important. The $750,000 in missed pension payments will be paid out to a Syracuse police officer and three city firefighters who, for whatever reason, failed to sign up for the state's 20-year retirement plan for first responders. The firefighters are getting what was due to them. All this was was an injustice in paperwork, uh, a clerical error that took place many years ago. There was no fault of their own, and it's... It, it, it's correcting the wrong is all it's doing. While Matundo says the four individuals were receiving the state's base pension, they were never placed in a higher tier for police and fire like they should have been. What he and many on the Syracuse Common Council are calling a clerical error. It's just a lack of a signature, lack of a proper notarize that created this issue. This is being characterized as a clerical error when the reality is this was um, a communication that went out to the employees that there's no evidence that they responded to. Regardless, the measure was unanimously approved by the Common Council and will now head to Albany where it's also expected to pass. This shows the importance of taking care of things when you first become aware of the problem. This could have been a lot less expensive if we had fixed it years ago when we first became aware of it. And Rudd says if it was addressed years ago, it would have likely been one-tenth of the cost. We realize there are real people behind these. These are, these are real people's lives that are being impacted. But at the same time, they were given all evidence points to the fact that they were given the opportunity to correct it, failed to do so, and now the city taxpayers are going to have an additional three-quarter of a million dollars that we'll be paying for. I don't know how you don't fix it so the person who's earned their pension can retire when they deserve to. Even if it's expensive, even if it's hard, it's still the right thing to do. Well, city reps say making up that three-quarter of a million dollars will likely be done through bonding, but the good thing is issues like this are no longer possible because first responders are now automatically enrolled in that higher tier at the state level. Christy? Rob, thank you. The bill in the state Senate is being sponsored by Senator Rachel May and would need to be passed by the end of the session on June 19th.